Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo on the Mysterious JG. Um, so, done a little bit of off-screening since the last time you and I were together, gentle viewer. Um, based on some advice I got from a um, viewer and uh, therefore special internet friend, Embazia. Embazia, by the way, was once referred to by GameFAQs as... Not GameFAQs, I... Uh, Damn, what was the name of that old uh, magazine I used to read way back in the day? Um, Sushi X wrote for them. I, uh, I can't even remember what they were called. But they really got a lot of uh, mileage out of Street Fighter, and they once referred to Embazia as the human embodiment of evil and oppression. Maybe that was Embison they were speaking of. But anyway, Embazia suggested that, hey, against uh, human bosses, your best tactic is always to use summon talismans that knock enemies down. And it had actually been uh, so long since I'd been using those talismans much, I almost respect and got rid of them. But in fact, I followed his advice, and off screen, after like 800 failed attempts, finally did once beat the mission where you fight um, Okatsu and Hanzo at the same time. Only problem is, it took me like 100 tries, and I still didn't, neither of them actually dropped the Divine Iga Jonan gear, which is exactly what I was, the reason I was trying to beat them and not any of the other fight two bosses at the same time fights was because I wanted to get Divine Ega Jonan gear, and they didn't do it, the jerks. But anyway, that being said, I did level up quite a bit. Uh, I'm now at level 175, which is probably over, probably would be considered over leveled by the game's math for anything. Uh, but this is not a game where levels really help that much. The skill points help quite a bit. Um, although I've gotten to the point now where a lot of these things are just not effective ways to kill anymore. Very few. There's really nothing except for your primary weapon uh, that's doing a lot of damage for me. Poison sucks now. I'm really close to respecking and getting rid of it and replacing it with paralysis. The main reason I haven't already done that is because from what I've heard, paralysis... Um, not quite as cool as it sounds, because, um, when you par paralyze an enemy, uh, the effect, I believe, is instantly undone the first time you hit them. So it's like it gives you one free shot. The problem is, like, my best way of poisoning most things in this game, other than the ground fire traps, is with, um, Kusari Gama with Hemlock Broth, or not Hemlock Broth, Galnut Broth. Because that does lots of little hits, and the lots of little hits uh, quickly fill up their poison meter. I'm sure they do the same thing with uh, Paralytic, except that probably you'd paralyze them, and then, like, as you continue quick <laughs> Kusarigama hits, you'd instantly uh, unparalyze them. So anyway, uh, but in my leveling up, I did get the new Touch Me Not scroll, which is the thing where if you die, boom, your body explodes and causes damage. I would think that would be useless if not coupled with the scroll that lets you come back to life, but that was the whole idea, is I've coupled it with a scroll that lets you come back to life. These scrolls aren't, they're not quite as good as I thought. The explosion doesn't do much damage, but then again, poison is doing so little damage now. I think I've just hit a point in the game where everything has so much life that anything other than your primary attack weapon isn't really hurting it that much. Um, M. Bazia advised me to use uh, talismans to trip up enemies to beat boss, uh, double boss fights, which is the only thing that's worked for me so far. But, um, like for example, somebody else told me to use uh, shuriken and kunai, and I don't have kunai. I, I kind of intentionally didn't bother with them. Maybe I need to actually do that, though. I might have to actually get kunai. Because they're like higher damage shuriken. I've been getting shuriken because they're cheap. But getting kunai and shuriken, maybe that's something I need to consider. But it would involve. Um, well, I wouldn't have to level up that much more. I could get one kun. I can get one level of kunai right now. But you have to get up to level three kunai before they're actually kind of cheap. Um, they cost more uh, jutsu than uh, shuriken do. Although they do more damage. So that might be a thing I need to think about. And Storm Kunai, you throw several at once. And then I think they had, like, Exploding Kunai. Now this thing increases Shuriken damage, but not Kunai damage. That might be why I thought Kunai are not worth it. Where's the Exploding Shuriken? We got Paralysis Shuriken. 
Oh, fire shuriken. Should think about investing in these, because... That's something that Hanzo was using against me in that fight, and it was annoying the shit out of me. So maybe there is a point in actually investing in more in the ninja skill tree. But anyway, most of my investments was actually... Oh, and um, on the Amio path, I uh, got the whole uh, increased uh, experience path I unlocked. I had that earlier in the game and then decided it was a waste of points, but came back to it. But the main thing I've maxed out that wasn't maxed out before is final blow damage. Because, as M. Bazia pointed out, your best tactic is to knock enemies down, or to trip them with uh, something and um, final blow them. But like I said, even with that, it took me a lot of tries to beat the two uh, ninjas. And I don't even know that they were the toughest uh, paired up double bosses. So, I don't really feel like doing a whole failure video where I just keep fucking losing those missions. I think I'll come back to them later. I haven't given up on doing them. I'm just going to come back to them later. The handful of people who are commenting on the videos uh, did all have a pretty optimistic attitude and tell me that I should do it and not give up. So I appreciate that. Uh, but, yeah, like my my big crutch, the Sloth Talisman, way more useful against one big bad than it is against two enemies fighting you at the same time. Because almost anything I try to do when fighting two enemies, taking a second to do anything to one enemy, the other one has already killed me. Because... My current build uh, relies on evasion, not tanking damage for a few seconds. So what am I going to do with this video? Uh, well, I could showcase the fact... I could show you. I did beat Two in the Shadows because it unlocks Iga style. Uh, but I'm not going to do Iga style right now. And I was super frustrated when I finally did this. And it, it really did probably take me 20 or 30 tries uh, off screen. Just, just using the tactic of spamming stuff that makes them fall down and then uh, doing final blows. I, I chose to kill Hanzo before Okatsu. Pro maybe the other tactic would have worked better. I just had a better better luck luring them into a pattern where I was able to target Hanzo first. But neither of them dropped Divine Iga gear, which really annoyed me because I've been desperately trying to get... Um, I'm using the Iga Jonin apparel... I keep getting... The only thing I've had drop as a Divine is the headgear. And I've had that drop like twice. Nothing else am I getting uh, that kind of stuff. And nobody is dropping the sword. Although I'm not that worried about that because I barely ever use it. I'm completely dedicated to Kusari Gama right now. Um, what else can I tell you about my build before I move on? I have switched... Um, we did, of course, unlock the ability to level up um, your guardian spirits. So now I've got four guardian spirits, spirits, spirits fully leveled. I'm using Daibawashi as my primary. I figured it makes sense. It's giving a boost to quick attack damage, and my main thing I'm using in almost all situations is high stance quick attack Kusari Gama. And that was the only thing I could find that would boost that. As my secondary, because I do believe it is only, it is only, you can't even tell here. Uh, it's when you do, change spirit guardian and you go to this screen. It's only when I'm doing, I think it's only the one with the little fox logo that you actually get as a bonus from your secondary guardian. I'm not sure, but I think that's the only one you get. And um, my best tactic against bosses, and particularly fighting the one giant boss from the Fisher village that just keeps showing up over and over as a regular enemy now. Uh, against that thing, it's Sloth Talisman, get behind it, constantly attack it with the Kasari Gama from behind, and this is boosting attack from behind. So those two I, bo I leveled up to level 30. And then the other two I leveled up to level 30 were uh, Sersha, I guess. Because she gives you, as a secondary effect, Amrita earned. And uh, our old friend, which we've I've used so much off-screen. Uh, and quite a bit on-screen, but usually only when I forgot to switch. But uh, Mizuchi. Mizuki has been a good friend to us. And Mizuki gives us um, 
when used as your primary, Mizuki also gives you Amaret Earned. So I have a primary and secondary spirit who both give you Amaret Earned, and I've been using them quite a bit. Did not level up uh, Nekomata. I thought for a long time, having glanced at the fact and seen what the different spirits do, I thought for a while I might be using Nekomata. And sure enough, Nekomata increases thrown weapon damage and seems like it's kind of built for ninjas with its uh, recurrent damage dealt, which I thought would be a good thing to build up since I use poison, but poison just kind of just kind of stinks. Uh, and I don't know that I'll be using Nekomata, and I feel a little bad because I dumped points into Spirit so that I could use all of the uh, DLC uh, Spirits as I got them, but now I'm kind of thinking I might be committed to using my current build and not using those anymore, but, you know, whatever. It's okay. It's all right. But anyway, at the moment, we're going with the thing that gives you attack from behind bonus, and our primary is the thing that gives you uh, a better um, quick attack, because that's my main attack. Upgraded the gear a bit in all the fighting, too. I'm now using a Kusari Gama that has a bonus to consecutive attacks. Uh, this, this hit count resets when the chain of attack ends. I figure, although I have, it doesn't seem like it's as effective as I thought it would be, but it sounds like that should be awesome for the Kusari Gama because I'm using the lots of quick little attacks thing. So if you get more with each hit, it seems like it would really stack. But it seems like it only really makes the last one uh, punch harder. And, uh, you know, just other general stuff. Now, I need to get something with Kadama Sense, because what I think we're going to do in this video, which is almost halfway over now, and believe it or not, this is actually my second attempt to start this thing, because I had a start to the session where I spent, like, six minutes looking for the name of M. Bazia to give him credit, and then and realized, you know what, I just did it on screen, let me get rid of that. But, um, I need to switch, and I need to get something with Kadama Sense, unfortunately. Um... Oh, I sure hope I still have something with Kadama Sense, because I actually, off-screen, got rid of a bunch of um, old uh, stuff that I was pretty sure I would never use again. Amaretta Sense, but no Kadama Sense. What does Amaretta Sense actually do? Oh. Those are those little corpses that pop up and... Uh, this thing uh, gives you ninjutsu life drain, which is not... It's another... It's a strange one. It says, restores health in proportion to the damage base you deal with ninjutsu. So I guess this means you get uh, a little shot of HP every time you use ninja skills, but I'm not 100% sure. But this thing I'm definitely using because it gives you a duration bonus to Sloth Talisman. And in fact, I uh, am using the ninja perform any ninjutsu you can use on yourself thing. Although I might switch that back to long range. I When I get into it, like, I was doing this against bosses because it really becomes essential to quickly recast the come back when you die uh, thing. And then this is the same thing. This is the instant. I might go to duration. Because what I'm going to do now that we're halfway through this video... Hey, you know, I, I kind of updated you guys on what was a lot of off-screening because... I watched quite a few Rift Tracks while leveling up. Problem is that um, I need to find a mission that gives you more because um, it's it's the nature of the game here as uh, you get good rewards for the amount of time it takes to win the Mountain of Remorse. Once you really get the Mountain of Remorse down, you can like race through it. Uh, you get quite a bit of uh, Amaretta, but now I'm at the point where it costs over 4 million Amaretta to level up. So, diminishing returns. Uh, but instead of, like, hey, I could try the Two Kings Neo. Technically, I'm at a higher level than the game says, although I don't know how meaningful those are. Hagio Yagyo? Hagyaki Yagyo? What is that even? Oh, powerful yokai. I don't know, but that one, unless you're fighting multiple ones at the same time, I might be able to have a shot at that. I'm, I'm happier fighting a really mean boss than I am fighting two bosses at the same time, for sure. But what I actually want to do, uh, because I've got a, I've got some time for a play session, and I think I will enjoy myself more, 
could be a foolhardy idea, but I actually want to get going on the DLC story. So our next mission is Yokai Country. Since he departed for Toto in Date territory, all traces of Hanzo have seemingly dried up. We must go after him before the trail vanishes completely. This is my best guess at what this guy sounds like, because he's he's speaking another language, and, and I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint the accent of someone who's speaking a language you don't speak, but this guy definitely has a, a, his own strange delivery. We must go after him before the trail vanishes completely, but before we proceed, you should understand that Toto is known to be home to various yokai. I admit that it is my first time to visit there, but already the air is thick with a foreboding sense of familiarity. So... There are ten. Ten. I'm making, like, the, uh, the Joker repeating the word six silently uh, face. There are ten of these Kadama to find in this level, uh, which suggests that it's a long level, which you would expect from DLC. I think there's only like three or four missions in each of these uh, DLCs. So let's get going with Yokai Country. We're actually... People at this point are like, oh god, JJ, would you fucking get on with it? I apologize, but... It is uh, considered recommended level 150. Other than... Yaki Yagyo. Oh, this could be a terrible idea. I feel like regular old gameplay rather than uh, missions against bosses is what I'm in the mood for, but the game thinks this is tougher than most of these double boss fights that I'm trying to get out of. Well, let's see what happens. Absolute worst case scenario, there are items in game I can use to back out. Tono, an impoverished village. Oh, and somebody in the comments, I forget who, said, uh, you don't need to beat the game twice. Uh, you don't need to beat the game on advanced difficult to be ready for the DLC. It's not that bad. So I'm hoping they're right. Tono, an impoverished village nestled sleepily among the mountains. Running through its heart is the Saragaishi River. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Long said to be habitat for Kappa. Residents of neighboring villages rarely, if ever, venture to Tono on account of the many folkloric tales of yokai that surround the area. However, the village is home to a gold mine used by the Date family to line their pockets. And some say that in amongst all the valuable ore... Another kind of special stone can be found. They're talking about Amarita. Or Amrita. Tono, Mutsu Province. Oh, for a minute I thought we actually had uh, some exploring to do here. So I'm uh, geared up for combat, although I'm specifically geared up for... I didn't think about going through and changing my jutsu, but I'm kind of geared for combat as opposed to fighting against um, a level. I'm geared up for fighting against a bunch of bosses. Yeah, I kind of hope... Hey. Well, they came right up and gave me a fancy new Wapit. I hope, uh, I hope Okatsu shows up in the story. I, I really liked her as a character. This game doesn't ha spend a whole lot of time on character development. But, like, this, the, she's incredible. She's, like, skillful, badass, but she's also really sullen, and... I don't know, I liked her. I am assuming that the humans we encounter are all going to be hostile. We are not an invited guest. Hanzo was technically an invited guest, although the game... They made it pretty clear that, um... It was pretty clear that, uh... That Date did not want him here. Luckily, that guy is not paying attention. And luckily, despite the fact that it's daylight and they got torches, they can't see me. My attacks from behind aren't really that powerful. I leveled up attack from behind, but not the specific type of attack from behind that I believe that counts as when you sneak attack them. No, there's a Kadama over here somewhere. So he was easily easy to find. 
So as ever, um, this might be frustrating since it took me such a long time to get to gameplay here, but... Oh. I was about to say ninjas. You are not a ninja, but... You're just wearing dark clothes. That is not the same as being a ninja. I went out walking today wearing black sweatpants and a uh, black pullover. Actually, I was wearing black shorts and a black pullover. Point is, I was wearing black. It didn't make me a ninja. Uh, no, I was not actually that stack of rocks, friend. I think these are... So yeah, I hope it, hopefully it's not too frustrating to have me sneaking around as I do, but this is how I've been playing the game throughout, even when not cosplaying as a ninja. I think the first time I'm going through it, oh man, you guys wouldn't have, you wouldn't have recognized me le off screen leveling up. I was like racing around, knowing the exact path, knowing exactly when you could drop down and not take damage. Um, knowing it like, knowing that you recover stamina as you fall through the air so you could like run, hit a little drop, keep running. Yeah, you would not have recognized uh, this creeping around being careful, JG, was not... You are not going to off-screen level that way. It's going to take you too freaking long. The thing is, I don't remember if I have anything equipped with enemy sense. I don't think I do. Taro the Brave. The name in red, I feel like that's uh, like a special uh, revenant. But Early on in the LP, to, to my surprise, I thought people were going to say I was a big wuss if I didn't clear all of the bloody graves. But in fact, uh, people's big thing was complaining that that was something to do to, to farm glory off screen and that I shouldn't be wasting time with it on screen. So I have... What? Whoa. Okay. You are not what I was expecting. I may be overreacting to this threat, but... Then again, this threat seems to be immune to poison, which I really don't like. I may have been overreacting to that threat. Well, I wasted all my uh, range stuff. I don't know if that's a regular enemy type or not, or if that was a one-time encounter. That was interesting. I'll now be looking out for a Kadama Shrine, though, because I, I'm really kicking myself that I... Yeah, I kind of did, didn't he? Well, I took damage when blocking there. Yeah, Japan's actually had peace for a while at this point. Something we really haven't seen up to this point in the game. After Sekigahara, there were a few years of peace before um, the uh, conflict with uh, the, the uh, Tokugawa trying to get rid of uh, Hideyoshi's last heir, whose name I'm blanking on at the moment. The two DLCs after this one are about that whole conflict, but for now... There's actually kind of peace. So anyway, that seems like a good, as good a time as any to hit a shrine because we're not really... I don't think we have any need to backtrack to where we've already been. Ah, perfect. I was hoping I could uh, lure him out without attracting the... That's some fancy spear work, dude. But yeah, I was really kind of hoping I would attract his attention without getting the ranged guy behind him, and that seems to have happened. Is there a reason I can't focus on you? I am really looking forward to getting a uh, higher level ninja gear. Hey, coppas! 
There's a whole bunch of them. I guess this really is yokai country. In yokai country, dreams stay with you. Yeah, it is a little weird that Masamune and his army are in, in league with the turtle guys. Let's see if these turtles fight with honor. This is so weird. I, I want to leave them alone. I want to. I feel like. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be fighting against them. I'm kind of surprised he's attacking. Usually these guys would run from you. Okay, well, I got a fully leveled up spirit meter now. Oh, there's a big one. Well, these guys, despite their appearance, are clearly not exactly the same as the Kappas that I fought previously. As they will chase you and can therefore be whittled down. Greater good Hayazori, whatever that is. Because, yeah, like the final one of the levels that I used to grind for levels on uh, was uh, one that had one of these guys at the end of it, and I would. Uh, you would just kind of uh, sloth talisman them before they could run away, maybe poison them. But they would mostly run away. You see those little hopping, uh, weird little umbrella guys. They are one of the few enemies left in the game that I need to kill more of to get uh, titles. If uh, you remember that mechanic. <laughs> So no drop from that guy, huh? Okay. And there's Kadama just kind of chillaxing. Back you go, everybody. So I can't quite get up there, huh? Might be a good place to have treasure sense, enemy sense, and all the other senses that I don't have going. But yeah, I feel bad. It's like they have their own little lake where they just kind of romp and play, and I came and really didn't have a good reason to murder them. Those are an enemy that I I need to find a mission where a short mission where those guys appear that I can just spam killing a bunch of them actually. And what good did that do me? That's like a not. Now I don't have to kill like oh I guess I can sneak around these kappa if I get killed. Get, get the fuck out! Run, get out! Whoa, shit. This has gone very poorly all of a sudden. I was in a pretty good place, and then it just went completely to shit. These guys do a lot of damage, man. Alright. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it a video, and when we come back, I'm probably gonna have to use some jutsu or shit, because, uh... I guess I'd gotten pretty confident there, but now that I think about it, I hadn't taken a hit yet. Uh, those are regular enemies, not bosses. And um, 
I got like hit with a little two-hit combo from a guy who looks like he's probably just kind of the cutesy, easy enemy of the zone, and I uh, almost died. And uh, I got paralyzed, and it's really just down to luck that I didn't get killed while I was paralyzed. So that was a little bit of a eye-opener. And when we come back, uh, geez, I need to be, I guess, a little more careful. Uh, I'm Serious JG. Thanks for watching. When we come back next time, I might have bitten off more than I could chew. We'll see you next time.